and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I think I mentioned that I was going to pop into the Evesham um, Crafters Companion Shop for the first time. So I did do last week, I think it was now, and I'm going to post the footage of some of the bits and pieces I could film inside um, and then show you what I picked up. So yeah, I picked up this farmhouse paper pad. I do love the Crafters Companion um, paper pads. It's 12 by 12 and it was £7.50. So I think it was originally £14.99 according to this. It had lots of sales stuff in there. Um, it was really nice going around looking at everything Crafters Companion, having it there to be able to pick up and see um, exactly what it looked like and stuff. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. But then I love shopping, don't I? This is Nature's Garden. Let's have a quick flip through. It is fairly, um, I'd say childlike, but um, kind of more big and bold and um, images as opposed to sort of vintage or delicate or anything. But I really like the mixture of a lot of the, the B-sides, I guess you would say, these background ones. I do love a bit of that. And these floors are really pretty. And like this speckled egg type one, I really like that as well. So as per usual for Crafters Companion, the sheets all come in a whole variety of different colourways. So fairly similar designs, just in lots of different colours. So I like that and I think it's going to be nice for making some projects. I'll leave it there because it's better than the background. Um, so also from that collection, I picked up this one, which was also £7.50. So it's a stamp and a die set. And to be honest, I was happy to pay £7.50 just to get the, the die because it makes this really cute little pocket. Let's take it out and show you. So there's the die set. So you get this one, it makes a great pocket. If you do pocket letters, it's a perfect little pocket to put goodies in. And it's got for you and I don't really know what the other words say. To be honest, I've not got around to, to doing them. Does it tell you? Let love grow. Okay, let love grow, it says. And, of course, the stamp set that goes with it. So the stamps are not good quality, to be honest, but um, they did pre-worn on that. I seem to have lost a with love one. I think I saw that lying around. Here we go. Let's stick that one back on. Yeah, they, they're just not very sticky um, and they're only acrylic. But the fact that you get all the matching dies and the dies are so cute. I was happy to pay £7.50 for that. I'll show you some of the little pockets. So here we go. There's doing a little bit of stamping, stamping the flowers and the bit. And you can see it um, ends up being this cute little pocket, perfect size pocket letters. And also it's sort of self-shutting. So I liked that and also made this little one. And that paper is, I managed to stick it on some ink. But yeah, and it's all lovely double-sided paper. It's a really pretty, like a little seed packet. So that was that one from the shop. Um, also in the shop, I picked up, this was 50p, so I thought, why not? Just um, layering stamp. 
so nothing massively exciting but it was only 50p so i thought i can't walk away from that that's how it kind of comes out i think that's meant to be leaves as well but because it's all part of one it's hard to separate out the colors but that's still a pretty tag this um thread that i've used on that these were 50p each just in the bargain bin and i like them because they're kind of they're not sort of straight thread they're kind of crinkled and also they've got glitter running through so perfect for tags that's what i had intended with those um i also picked up some pens these were down to five pounds and I've basically chosen because i do like light colors um and although i'm a bit of an obsessive with the tri brand blend they obviously don't last as long it's not got as much ink in them so it's useful to have lots of other pens and i just really liked how pale these shades were and I can show you in a minute on the next card that I made, I coloured in using those. That will give you a bit more of an idea. Um, but actually, if you are interested, it's probably worth me just to quickly grab a card, just showing you by pale. They're not too pale that they're like unusable. And they had a whole variety of different colours in this. It's called Tinted Naturals. So you get this soft car key. See, that's not too pale at all. Then you get um, breezy blue. That's a fairly pale blue, isn't it? Mint tea. Toasted almond. Not too, doesn't look too pale, does it? These ones I think are quite pale. Um, what's that? Spa green. So, I mean, these two you can definitely layer together and cappuccino, which you can layer, blend, blend is the word, in with that one. So, yeah, and that's the kind of colours that I like to use. So, that is that. Um, also, from Crafters Companion Shop, I picked up the glue gun holder. And let's see if I can pick it up since I've already put my glue gun in it. Um, I did have a glue gun holder, but the reason I like this one is because it's so, take the bits of glue off, so sort of sturdy and wood. Couldn't get the label off though, that was slightly annoying, but that shows you what it looks like in a picture. And of course you can put all your glue sticks here. It's not gonna fall though, but this is non-stick, so you can just pull like I did. That was the glue that had come onto it, it could just pull it off without issue. So I don't need to worry about my uh, glue gun falling over. I did look at the Crafters Companion glue gun, but it hasn't got an on and off switch. And I think that could lead to disaster, not having an on and off switch. Um, so yeah, I also got a little mold, but that's downstairs, so I can't show you that. Um, then also from Crafters Companion, but not from the shop, I got these from eBay for about five pounds. So I also got this set from the farmhouse collection. And this one is dies and stamps again. So it's the dies for the birds. And then the stamp. So it's flying geese, flying ducks. Reminded me of, you know, how people used to have those three flying ducks that flew up the wall. Sort of a fashion fashion thing. Seems so outdated now to call that a fashion thing. But I really like that. And those were using those pens that I just showed you. And all the papers from that paper pad collection. I really like how that came out. I had to add a few extra sort of gems and stickers on the inside because I managed to um, leave a mark on there annoyingly, but I think that came out really pretty. And then this one, I love this one. Originally $16.99, it says, so it was a good deal. Um, is to make a shaped card that says friend. And if I can see some more of these for a good price, I might have to get some more, not that I need them, but just the way they come out. Look how cool that is. It's an actual card shaped with the word friend. Because of the choice of cardstock or record being so similar, it's not really obvious that it says friend. But if you had more contrast, it would look better. And some little butterflies that I've just punched out with vellum and a bit of glitter in the middle. And I'll show you the glitter that I picked up actually. Yes, yeah, so I love those. Oh, that card um so i picked up this glitter which in the charity shop 
It was $1.99 for the full set. So originally came in little baggies. So I've just tipped them into my own containers. Really nice chunky glitter though. So do check out your charity shop for such things randomly whilst i was also in you know i went to manchester for this i went into what's the shop kenji or something never heard of it but i got these really cute stickers i couldn't resist obviously because it's cats and look it's chinese waving cat we have a chinese waving cat who lives in our house not the real kitties but one that sits and waves and that's some of the stickers i stuck on card and cut round i just think they're so quirky and cute but they were two pound each which is probably an excessive price but there we go i was on a trip so i picked it up um yeah so that's what i picked up on my little haul up there not too bad on craft supplies i don't feel like i went insane so all's good um yeah i shall be doing lots of crafting and i'm really getting into scrapbooking and things which is fun so i shall speak to you all very soon